recently you might have heard this buzzword called chat gpt so what exactly is this chat gpt chat gpt is a chat bot launched by open ai it is built on top of open api gpt3 family of a large language models and fine tune with the both supervised and reinforced learning techniques now you might be wondering why exactly i am talking about chat gpt in a salesforce channel i've seen couple of videos where people are just asking for a logic and this chat gpt is giving them the answers in terms of code they're just simply writing the problem statement it is giving us the code i thought can it also apply for our salesforce can this chat gpt gives us answers for our apex logic can it work for our visual force pages what if i ask the chat gpt to give me a lwc logic so that is what i wanted to do a test and parallelly i would like to share those findings with you so without any delay let's get started in terms of starting this chat gpt you just need to register on this link so i've already done that and i've done couple of tests let's start in a fresh chat in terms of testing the system so i would like to see a simple code on apex i'll say if you see here there's a text box i'll simply write write a simple apex code now as soon as, as soon as i do that it starts writing this code so when i asked for a simple apex code it is creating a class for us and it is creating a method for us and it is writing the system.debug and if you are wondering can this not happen in our vs code in case if you have a class and if i ask the system to create a method for us it would basically do the same thing for us now what is the difference between this chat gpt and the vs code or the ide that we are using let's push the system to an extent to the next level where we wanted to ask the system to write a code rather than giving us the simple syntax i'll say write a simple apex program i'm not giving any inputs i'm just trying to test the system in here okay so when i ask for write a simple apex program it is not able to get something that i'm interested in because it is giving me a main method which is not the actual use case for us so i'll just do one more test where i'll ask the system to write a logic in apex to update list of account records let's see what would happen if i ask the system to update a list of account records now if you see here this this logic makes sense in terms of the exact logic that we'll be writing so it has created a class and it has created a method inside it where it is iterating over the list of accounts that has been passed and it is taking an input and it is updating it which is good and i see one issue here being the update statement inside this for loop apart from that this gpt is able to understand what exactly i need and it has given me the logic for it now let's test this to the next level where we'll ask the system to give us something little different so we'll ask the system to create a wrapper class to hold two string values and one integer let's see if the system is capable in a, enough in terms of understanding what exactly is a wrapper class would it be able to give us that information awesome it has pretty much completed the task that i've asked for which is giving us a wrapper class two string values and one integer and it has also created a constructor for us and it is also giving us the information on how exactly i can use this wrapper class by creating an instance of it and passing a values to it and it is also giving us the information when you would be using a wrapper class which is quite awesome now 
since i know that it is kind of giving me accurate results now what i'm asking for i'll just push this a little more in terms of asking this question can it also give us the code to create a contact record and an opportunity record when an account record has been updated so let, let's ask the system right a logic to create contact and when a account record is updated or maybe created let's see what what does this gpt will give us so it has created a trigger which is good and it is creating a list of contacts and opportunities as a list which is good inside the trigger it is writing this code and if you see here i have not asked the system to associate this contacts with this account but it is doing that which is quite awesome and it is also getting the inputs that are matching with the account so if you see here we have an account name and it is properly matching it to the first name it knows that a last name it is a mandatory field it has populated that it is updating this contact newly created contact to this list which is quite cool and similarly it has done the same thing for opportunity and it is also associated to this associating that newly created opportunity to this account that we have asked the system to look at when we are writing that logic and it is inserting them as well also it knows that where does it need to write this logic so it has written it in after insert by the time we have this account id which is so cool this logic is by far the most well thought it knows the basics of the trigger and it knows how exactly it needs to fetch this account id and it knows how to associate this contacts with contacts with the account that has been inserted similarly the opportunities it also has given us the information of what exactly this code is doing which is quite cool so far i'm happy with this trigger and the apex part let's see if it also test class for the above let's see what does it say okay so it has it is able to understand uh, that it has created a logic on the create and contact and opportunities it has imported at rate test which is good it is creating a dummy account and it is querying for the contacts and opportunities after so it knows that it it has written the logic in the trigger so as soon as this account has been inserted the trigger logic would run in the after context and it is querying for those contacts with that account that has been created in here and similarly it has done for the opportunities and it is checking for the size to validate if our logic is working fine which is quite cool and it is talking also about the see all data is equals true and it is also talking about system dot assert and giving the context of what is this logic is all about so far so cool and let's see if we can ask the system to write a logic on the callouts write a rest callout in salesforce let's see what does it say all right so it it knows that the rest call needs to be a asynchronous process so it has created it in an future method it is also mark it as callout is equals true and i've not mentioned what kind of a call that i'm making so it has created it as a get call which is good it knows the syntax for it it is also validating if the call has been successful or not and it is printing the status sign the status code all right so it it is able to understand the call out mechanism the integration part also so i'll just stop it okay so it is successfully able to generate the apex code we have written the test class we have asked for the call outs the integration part of it let's ask the system if it is able to understand an lwc component so will it be able to create an lwc component is what i want to test create a lwc component to show the list of contact records let's see what does it say okay so first thing it was able to understand the template and it is starting writing the code
okay it is building the table now it knows that what are the important fields on the contact which is name email and phone okay cool okay it it started getting the data which is the for each format that we are using to display that content it is printing all the fields that we have asked the system for so far we have not looked at how is this data been fetched we are just at the template side of this lwc component so it is closing the lightning card which is good that is writing the js file all right it is following the best practices also it is using the import to get the object name and it is using the wire service to basically get all the contacts which is also cool and it is using guest list ui in terms of getting that information and that information has been put into this contacts and that contacts are been used to get the data and print it the information in the table so it has not used the apex so let's write it down this way create a lwc component to show the list of contacts which are having the name last name as all the apex method imperatively all right so it started generating the code let's see if there is any difference in the code that we could see this time i really appreciate that it is also looking at the slds styling before generating our code it is printing the name email then the phone if i'm not wrong okay phone phone came in so how cool is it so we just need to just enter the information that we need and we can go for a coffee break or a tea break by the time we come back our code would be ready and we can go ahead and use that for our testing purpose i really liked it in terms of how fast it is building that code and it also also expected one thing which is nothing but it has made a call to this apex class i'm waiting if it would give us the apex class code also so far we got the template code we got the js file it has expected the one piece which is the wire service and it has not expected the imperative call maybe it it might be something that it has not considered or maybe there was a typo i'm not sure my bad it was a typo that i fented so maybe that is the reason why it was not considering it overall it has expected the wire service and it has used as a function to call this apex class and it was able to get that data and it is able to put that information in this code overall this code looks good to me if there is no mistakes that i can see let's see if i ask for a or a component create a or a component to show the list of account records where the industry is equals banking in lightning card so i've asked for a lightning component this time to display the list of account records where the industry is equals banking let's see what does it show okay it has created an attribute called accounts and a handler in it handler and it is using the iterator to iterate over the list of accounts it has expected the lightning card that i've asked at the end which is cool so it is closing the iterator and it's starting writing the controller class in here okay it respected the industry is equals banking is making a call to get get accounts okay so i'm really little interested in terms of understanding how is this working overall so one thing it it was not able to help me here is it has not inclu included the controller at the top so this call might fail because it the lwc component doesn't know where does it need to get this get accounts so this is one piece that was missing but overall i have the majority of the code written with the formatting and everything 
I need to make small small tweaks in, in terms of getting this working for my requirement. Overall, this looks good to me. I would have really appreciated if it has given us the controller and the controller if it has been added at the top, that would have been great. So overall, the work overall I felt this chat GPT is able to get us the information that we need. All I need to do is write in the requirement that I have, click on enter and it would start writing the code. And there are few ifs and buts in terms of few things that are being missed. It is accepted because it is something that is running on an AI. It needs the data to correct itself. And as and when it gets trained properly, it would give us more results accurately. Overall, I felt that it is it is doing the job 95% of times. It is that 5% that is missing. And how cool it is in terms of writing a single line of your requirement in this chat GPT, clicking on enter, you have the list of code that you can use and make small, small changes and you are ready to go. You don't have to search for the stack Stack Overflow or you don't have to search for the documentation. Take the help of your chat GPT, get the basic code, see if it, that is fitting your requirement. If there are any changes, make those changes and your job is 95% is done. The other percentage is testing it, making any changes that you need as per the generated code. Explore this chat GPT more. Feel free to share your comments. Is chat GPT would be a kind of a boon for the developers or is it a bane? Do you think this chat GPT would replace the developers? What do you think? Feel free to let us know in the comment section. That is all for this video. We'll come back with the new and interesting topics like this in the upcoming videos. Feel free to like, share and subscribe. If you have liked this content, feel free to share with your co-developers. See what exactly they can come, up, come back with. Let us know your findings of the chat GPT in the comment section. That is all for this time. Bye for now. Hey guys, if you like this video, do like, share and subscribe to SFTC Quest.